Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5 Minute Presets in the Juno 6V. Let's make the Stranger Things theme song. That's always fun to make. And this synthesizer makes it pretty easy. So uh, let's start the clock here and let's go to File, New Preset. So I want to show you guys this hold chord setting over here because it's very, very cool. So let's go over here to Select and let's go to Major 7 and remove this one, this one, and this one. So we're left with five notes right here. And it's going to go on Custom by default because we changed some stuff here. So with that selected, let's hit Hold. Let's go Chord On and then let's go to the Arpeggio. Turn that on as well. Go to Up, Down right because da 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 right goes up and it goes down and then range one is fine so we hit a note here and the cool part with that whole thing is i hit the note one time and it plays the whole sequence so uh let's start making the sound here let's turn this down just a little bit so it doesn't get too irritating so here we go let's get a sub in there and let's change our envelope a little bit take the sustain all the way down release maybe a little bit of sustain and then we need to work on our envelope here bring our cutoff down and our resonance up let's change the envelope just a little bit okay so now we need to add some uh, some chorus here See what it sounds like the pulse here. Let's see what the second one sounds like. Kind of like that as well. So let's bring up our decay a little bit more. Okay, so now let's work on some effects here. So let's go to our delay and eighth note should be fine. Let's make this more stereo and turn up our delay. And let's get a little high pass in here too. It's getting a little muddy. And maybe some reverb here. Bring the dampening up a little bit. with this kind of sound it's really messing with the resonance and the filter envelope as well so it kind of kind of goes in handy too and for this one we're kind of using the envelope here for the vca and for the filter so kind of keep that in mind we can always change it to envelope two for the vca and kind of mess this one up here but for now i think one envelope might be fine here let's turn this back on here I think I like the chorus too a little bit better for this. And let's go for the voice calibration. Let's go to average. Yeah, something like that might be pretty close to it as well. So, uh, yeah, that's a very cool setting here for the hold and for the chord. So you can basically select a different chord. And then with the hold and the arpeggio on, you basically hit the root note of that chord. And it's just going to play the arp over and over. So you don't have to hold down the keys every single time. And it's really nice, too, because you can play an arpeggio with one note. And then maybe bring up another synthesizer and play the lead over it or something else or a bass or who knows what you want to play over it. But, uh, yeah, so this is the Stranger Things, Stranger Things theme song. Ah, wow, that's a tongue twister. And you can switch octaves too, just one note. And the drums.
But yeah, that's pretty much how you make it. It's not too crazy. You just worry about the filter and the envelope and the uh, arpeggio and the chorus and all the other stuff that we went through. So, oh, time's up. Well, there we go. So let's give it one final last listen to this patch here and see how it turned out here. Cool. You can always tweak it furthermore if you want to use this envelope here. Or like I said too, you can always go into the advanced section here, change the VCA to envelope two, and then you have this one for the VCA, so our volume, our amplitude, and then we can use this envelope down here just for the filter cutoff. So uh, yeah, I thought I would mention that before we leave again. So if you want to have this patch in your collection, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thanks for watching. Bye.